this is Miss Baldwin. I am here on the General Green Nature Trail and I'm going to teach you how to walk on the trail. Now, I'm not going to be wearing a mask because no one else is going to be walking with me. But my guess is, is that you're going to be going with your teacher or maybe me or Mr. Rice and you're going to have to wear your mask because we are still practicing safe social distancing, okay? There are some important rules for when you are on the nature trail. Rule number one, you need to let your teacher be in front. Who's in front? The teacher. I don't care if you are a kindergarten or you're a fifth grade. The teacher is in front. Rule number two, hands to yourself. We are not touching our friends. We are not touching other people. We're not being silly because we don't want anybody to hurt. Rule number three, please watch where you're walking. There are going to be lots of sticks, roots, things on the ground and you can trip over them and then knock everybody else over and nobody would enjoy that. So please be careful. So when we enter the nature trail, you are going to find the steps and the ropes on the side. We are not going to go down the slope beside the steps. Safety is important. Remember, safety is important in the lab. This is an extension of the science lab. So when we go down, we are gonna go down the steps. It is up to you or your teacher if you need to hold on to the rope. If you are kindergarten or first grade, I really think it's a good idea that you hold on to the rope. You can go left or you can go right. But what I'm going to say is every time you come to the nature trail, I'm going to ask that you go right. Why? Because you're going to see some plastic tabs on trees. These trees are going to tell you where the path is. So if you look up and you see a plastic tab, you know you're going in the right direction. As you can see, the forest floor has been swept a bit. Mr. Rice was nice enough to clear the trees. We had a lot of down trees and overgrowth and things that were blocking our path. So he has taken some time to clear the space so that it would be safe for us to walk again. I'm gonna begin walking. Now, if I look down in the ground, here is one of those roots I'm talking about, okay? This is a good tripping hazard. That's why we need to pay attention to the ground and where we're walking. It's good to walk in single file. That way everyone has their own space. Now, a lot of you are gonna see this stuff here. This is not poison ivy. This is English ivy. This is not going to make you itch. It is not poison ivy. This is English ivy. This is growing all over. It's taking over our forest. That is okay. As I walk, I may notice a couple things. I will notice some holes, probably a place for an animal to burrow, or maybe a tree has fallen. You're gonna see some pine cones. I definitely see some digging spots. These digging spots tell me that an animal has been digging and hiding nuts or looking for other food items to eat. As I keep walking, I bet someone can see some dots. Am I going in the right direction? Yes, I am. Now there's paint on there. I tried paint, it didn't work. So ignore the paint. Over here, I see some more interesting things. I happen to see decomposition. That means things are breaking down. We're gonna talk more about that in another path. All right, so as I walk, I keep going. I may end up seeing signs like this. These signs will tell us the names of trees. I'm gonna keep going and keep going. I wonder if anybody happens to already see the orange dot. So when we get to this spot, we're going to see an orange dot here, an orange dot here, and a yellow dot here. The yellow dot means to go in this direction. But if you look, the yellow has some tape going across the bridge. This means that the bridge is closed. We need to do some repairs there to keep it safe. You are not to go to the left. This means we need to look at these yellow and orange dots and tells us we are going to go right. As we're walking, we're probably going to see some more dots 
We are going to see lots of other things on the ground. There's one of those big tripping hazards. And if you look up, oh, I see another orange dot. That tells me I'm going in the right direction, but I'm looking at the ground too. Look at all of those roots. Again, when you're walking in the woods, you have to keep your eyes on the ground as well as in front of you. Anybody see an orange dot? Yes, that tells me I'm going in the right direction. Keep your eye out for another orange dot. Now, we've come to a place where it's hard to tell where the orange dot is. We've got so many different directions we can go in. We can go in this way, which is looking like it's going towards the kickball field. We can go this way, and it looks like it's going across the bridge. If you have already seen the orange dot, you are correct. We are going to go across the bridge. As we get to the end of this bridge, oh no, I don't have a step. What am I gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to jump and let's see if we can find where the next spot is. Well, I have tape up here that tells me that I can't go that way right now. But I'm looking, I'm looking. Yep, I happen to see another orange dot. So I'm gonna follow that orange dot and that's gonna tell me where I need to go. What am I looking out for on the ground? Of course, roots. And we found the orange dot. Ooh, now here's one of those trees Mr. Rice cut. Isn't that awesome? Can't you see all the rings? That is super cool. So we keep going. Now this next one might be a little bit camouflaged. Can you find the next dot? I already see it. Are we headed in the right direction? Yes, we are. Got a big trip spot there. So we are at a place that has multiple paths, but that bridge happens to have the do not cross sign on it. So can we go that way? No, but I do happen to see, oh, I see a couple sets of dots, the yellow and orange. Remember we're following the orange dots. Do we see some more orange and yellow dots? Yep, we've got the orange dot. I see a yellow dot. However, in the far distance, I do see another orange dot. Okay, so we have another place where we can cross. I see yellow and orange. I see a bridge. And then I see, oh, I see an orange dot. So the teachers can possibly take you over the bridge, but if we're following the orange dots, we're going to have to go this way. As we go this way, we're going to come across something that looks like a big wall. This is a bird blind. It is not a climbing wall. This is supposed to hide us from the birds at the bird feeders. However, if we're loud like this, you're not going to see any birds because they don't like loud noises. You've got to be quiet in order to be able to see any birds. I know that's hard to do. Keep following the orange dots. As you can see, the path is very flat. The only thing you have to worry about are those little roots that stick up everywhere. Another orange dot. And the next orange dot, can you see it? It is on the bridge. Now, what is the bridge missing? It is missing a step. For a little, you're going to have to hold on and you're going to have to take a big step. Down here, this is a place that you only go with Miss Baldwin. You are not going down there with your other teachers. But over here, when we get off the bridge, we have 
what looks like the school. And we've got to look for our orange dot. We'll have an orange dot there. If teachers want to get a little bit closer, this is the best spot right here for teachers to get closer to be able to see what's in the creek. But if I look, oh, I have a couple paths right here that leads us to the outdoor classroom. And over here, we have an orange dot. We have a bird feeder and an orange dot. So that tells us we're going to go straight. There's that same bridge that we saw earlier. Okay, we've got to look. Do we see an orange dot that way? No. I see a yellow dot, but I also see an orange dot in the distance. So I'm following the orange dot. Don't worry about the yellow dot. That's for Science Olympiad. Here's my orange dot. I think this looks familiar. Does it look familiar to you? Yep, we are almost back at the steps. Let's see some more dots. There's our yellow and orange dot and our yellow and orange dot. But we shouldn't be lost because we know we're back at the steps and we can be done. <laughs> 